uh, Enodin man. Uh, some people were asking, who is Enodin man? That is Enodin man. It is this person. So there is a video clip um, which is going around. I've tweeted it, um, but basically um, the setting is, uh, and this needs some explanation because when I just sort of put this out, assuming everybody had the uh, knowledge necessary for the story, um, yeah, it turns out that wasn't sort of exactly true. So I need to give the setup that maybe most of the internet didn't have with this. Japan uh, has nerds. You may have heard of this. They're called otaku. And, uh, you know, the thing about otaku is you can be an otaku anything. You know, sometimes actually the more niche and the more uh, maniac it is, the more cred you have as an otaku. You know, people who are into like doorbells. I'm sure there are doorbell otaku. There are people who just collect like the, the, the signs that go on the side of trains. There are, you know, announcement boards from train stations. Otaku are deep. They, they, the idea is that they want to be the deepest type of uh, subject matter expert nerd about whatever they are doing. And they, they, they band together in little communities, uh, one to psychologically support one another, but also to sort of have people to sort of outdo one another with. Uh, and look, a lot of otakus are perfectly okay. In fact, a lot of people, there are a lot of otakus that you won't even know are otaku. You might work with them, you might be sitting next to them onto the, on the train. Uh, but you know, if you ever start a conversation on the wrong subject the the stereotypical otaku you know particularly the anime or manga or whatever are basically your um you know your your reddit 4chan uh you know we weebu type you know trying to take everybody else down proving that they know everything about you know whatever they're doing and you know and when they're doing their hobby uh, nothing else you know matters i mean and, and, and there are otaku who literally like will kill and will literally uh, do random, you know, acts of irrational violence around their hobby, uh, and this is where you know there was actually, I mean, essentially, Om Shinrikyo, the 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 Saring Gas Cult, that was that was an otaku cult. That was a bunch of people, it was basically Akihabara people and uh, you know computer science students and so on, who made a religious cult, and they nerf gas to train. So you know, don't don't mess with otaku. This is this is the starting point for this, and because of the, at times er erratic and very self centered. I mean self-centered in terms of you know for their hobby like everything else uh, it doesn't matter kind of uh, behavior um f train photographer nerds are a special subgroup of nerds in japan that have just burned all of their goodwill with society y you would think that train photography nerds train spotters but specifically who take photos of trains um, you'd think that the train companies might love these people who love their trains so much, but these people basically act abusively towards the train company people. They, they block off platforms, they try to lean in front of the trains in dangerous ways that, you know, risk causing accidents and so on. Uh, they block off traffic, they uh, harass, and if, if, if for example, um, people are at train stations, when they're trying to take a photo of a train, they'll get violent. They'll push, they'll scream and abuse regular people using the train to get out of, stop ruining their photos. Um, they'll abuse and assault uh, train you know staff and so on so basically also all over japan there, there are cases where to get the perfect photo they'll vandalize public property they'll, they'll they'll cut down fences to get a photo they'll stand on train tracks to get photos and, and basically these people and they're completely unrepentant when they're confronted or caught so not not all the time not all train photographers but there are enough viral videos of, of these train nerds uh, basically just acting like an anti-social force out there on the internet uh, that even amongst the nerds on Nichan, um, you know, unless you're in that group, uh, they are just despised by everybody. This is the important back text, which I think when I shared this on Twitter, people didn't really have. So um, the story is that uh, these people who are looking to photograph the legendary Enoshima uh, special small train, the Enoden 305 train, I have no idea if this was like a one-off special like uh, run or this is just like a regular thing but apparently what happened was a group of 40 train photography nerds like went to like the perfect spot apparently at night for some reason so maybe this was a limited run on a corner to catch this train going around a corner and apparently they had actually you know they blocked off a road uh, were holding up traffic as this train was coming past uh, poised with uh, tripods and cameras ready to catch this you know this was rare train at just exactly the perfect moment and you can see this video it's, it's viral but this uh this this gaijin person uh on a uh pink bicycle not wearing a mask uh he came around the corner with the train at the same time while all these people are poised around the corner to take the photo um there is an interview with him on the internet after this where he claims he didn't knowingly or deliberately photobomb this uh he he, he came around the corner he was surprised as surprised as anybody uh, but he came around the corner and um, basically 
exactly with the train at exactly the perfect moment he came around and he saw like 40 people like blocking off the road and taking photos of the train so he extended the uh the salutary the salutary arm and came around this uh this uh corner and, and on the video you can hear um these train nerds losing their minds i mean they completely lost their their, their crap and when he kept, got around to where they all were and they were blocking off the road so he had to stop they sort of charged him i mean basically attacked by a, a gaggle of nerds i'm not exactly sure what the plural group is for that uh, and they were like screaming at him like you know he ruined it he ruined it let's get money from him uh, he said afterwards as well people were accusing him of having stolen the bicycle because he's a foreigner and you know but basically they were just unventing like uh like rage against this they were ready to like lynch this guy <laughs> i mean i would say he came around the corner and it, it was funny you know he, he as soon as he realized that there were all these photographers there he just uh, struck a pose uh, he embraced the moment now the funny thing about this is, is that this video went viral on Nichan before anywhere else and the Nichan is the Japanese nerds on Nichan love this guy they're worshiping this guy like a hero basically which basically by by sort of worshiping him and calling him the Yenoden man or whatever everyone's treating him like a hero because he's trolling these antisocial train photography nerds and you can hear that they're antisocial by the way that they react you know they act like basically nerd yakuza um, so the reaction, everybody's like laughing their heads off at these nerds got done. You know, they got their, their once in a lifetime photo ruined by this uh, gaijin smashing photo bombing foreigner. Um, when I shared the story on Twitter and I said, you know, once in a lifetime photo, you know, gaijin bombed, I got gaijin smashed. Uh, a lot of people said, you know, they saw the video and they saw him like posing and making a big f fun of it. And it was like, yeah, it looks like he's the, he's the one who's being a dick. He's ruining their photo. You know, he could have just gone off to the side. Um, it's kind of funny there was like on, on, on English Twitter it was like 50 50 like is this guy being the dick like you know why we're in someone's photo like some people spend a lot of time setting up photos and nothing you know terrible and people ruin photo shots on, on, on purpose so people are actually being sympathetic with the train nerds which I find hilarious because no one on the Japanese internet is siding with the nerds <laughs> over this um, so in on them ma'am and honestly, I've just been in Japan. I've just consumed media enough to have an image. I, I thought it was hilarious. And, you, you know, again, I, I, I'm definitely not a fan of gaijin smashing. I mean, kids, gaijin smashing is not cool. I don't think this was gaijin smashing. I think this is a guy just entered a situation and just em embraced the moment. Uh, in fact, I tried to capture it. I don't think uh, it actually came into my Flipboard feed properly. But someone actually even made like an Olympic pictogram of this <laughs> uh you know uh, people are celebrating this man as a kind of a hero like uh basically getting back at the tori at the at the train nerds and um yeah yeah um you know like i say uh we're without a mask on a pink bicycle late at night um you know <laughs> posing like this uh, uh probably if it was anything else i i would be disowning uh you know knowledge or uh praise for this man but uh yeah i i, I think the fact that japan that Jap japan actually you talk about the good news story of the week it wasn't a gold medal in karate or anything it was this guy in or man so yeah yeah that is uh viral thing going on in japan i talked about that for like way too long gaijin bombing that's that's probably the right term there av84k thank you for that uh, exactly aaron i think you've captured it perfectly